In North Carolina, the Pasquotank County DA says his investigation found the deputies involved in last month's fatal shooting of Andrew Brown Jr. in Elizabeth City were justified in using deadly force. Mr. Brown's death, while tragic, was justified because Mr. Brown's actions caused three deputies with the Pasquotank County Sheriff's Office to reasonably believe it was necessary to use deadly force. Saying this body camera footage of the deadly incident explains why. You see deputies approach Brown in his car shouting commands. The vehicle backs up, then moves forward. The prosecutor says Brown struck a deputy. Officials then fire their guns, 14 shots in total, the vehicle ending up in a lawn. The family of Brown has called the shooting an execution. International pressure is building for Israel and Hamas to de-escalate following more than a week of intense and deadly fighting. A rocket launch from Gaza today killed two Thai workers in southern Israel. This hours after Israeli airstrikes destroyed a six-story building in Gaza. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu said today that Palestinian militants have been dealt, quoting now, unexpected blows in the last eight days of fighting. Meanwhile, the Palestinian ambassador to the UN pressuring the Biden administration to detail its efforts to try to achieve a ceasefire. Our goal remains uh, to bring the current cycle of violence to an end as quickly as possible and then bring the parties back to the work of building lasting stability. To say that both sides, both sides, need to de-escalate, downplays the responsibility the terrorists have for initiating the conflict in the first place. The Board of Supervisors in Maricopa County, Arizona, Democrats and Republicans alike have had it with the vote recount in their county, organized by Trump supporters. I supported an audit. I supported cooperating with the Senate. What I didn't support is a mockery. And that's what this has become. A company called Cyber Ninjas, which has no experience with election audits and is owned by a Trump supporter who has promoted election conspiracy theories, is running the recount. This is not about changing the results from November. We want to be able to demonstrate with complete confidence that the election had integrity and that every vote was counted. Police in Los Angeles confirm they're investigating rapper T.I. in a sexual assault case. His real name, Clifford Harris, is accused along with his wife, Tamika Tiny Harris, of multiple incidents of sexual abuse and other allegations in Georgia and California by an attorney representing 11 alleged victims. The Daily Beast reports one of the alleged victims spoke to the LAPD about allegations of a 2005 assault. Police in Las Vegas say they received a report of an incident in 2010 involving T.I. and his wife, but the case was outside of the statute of limitations. An attorney for T.I. and his wife say they have not been contacted by police. Peloton out with a new safety feature for its recalled treadmill. Starting today, users of the Tread Plus will be prompted to set a four-digit passcode to gain access. Then after 45 seconds of inactivity, Peloton says the treadmill will lock again. The change comes after weeks of pressure when alarming videos like these emerged. Children getting trapped and injured from playing with the exercise equipment. At least one child reportedly died. Peloton is also offering a full refund between now and November. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.